Hi, welcome to the new section of the course, Testing. Time to test what we have done so far. So, in this section, we will talk about the importance of unit and end to end tests, then, we will implement unit tests for the Pomodoro and shopping list applications. Also, we will learn how to mock server responses in unit tests and implement end to end tests for both applications using Nightwatch. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with unit tests. In this video, we will learn to write unit tests for simple functions. Before we start writing unit tests, let's try to understand what we're trying to achieve by writing them. Why is unit testing so important? Sometimes, when I write my tests, the only thing I can think about is my code coverage. I want to achieve a level of 100%. Code coverage is a very important metric. And helps a lot to understand the code flow and what needs to be tested, but it is not a metric of unit test quality. This is not a metric of good code quality. You can have your code 100% covered just because you call all your functions in your testing code, but if your assertions are wrong, the code might be wrong as well. Writing good unit tests is an art that requires time and patience, but when your unit tests are good enough, and when you are concentrating on making good assertions with regard to corner cases and branch coverage, they provide us with many features. Help us to identify failures in algorithms and logic. Help us to improve the code quality. Make us write code that is easy to test. Prevent future changes from breaking the functionality. Help us to have more predictable deadlines and estimations. Code that is easy to cover with unit tests is at the same time code that is easy to read. Code that is easy to read is less error prone and more maintainable. Maintainability is one of the main pillars of an application's quality. Check more about unit testing in the presentation at this GitHub link. It takes some time to go to the link. In this presentation, you can find all about presentation. Let's write some unit tests for our applications. For that, we will use the Karma test runner. Mocker Test Framework, Chai Expectations Library, and Synon for mocks. Go to Karma website for more information. For Mocha, visit mocha.org and chaijs.com for chaijs and synonjs.org for synon. If we hadn't bootstrapped our application using Vue CLI Webpack Scaffolding, we would have to install all these tools via npm, but in our case, we don't need this installation. Check your package.json file and you can see that all these things are already there. You can see that Chai is highlighted in the screen. Also, we have Karma. Then we have Karma Sin on Chai. And the last one is Mocha, which is highlighted. You certainly know how simple it is to write unit tests for simple functions. It's almost like speaking human language. This function should return x if the input is y. I expect it to be x, so if we have a module that exports, let's say, a function that returns the sum of two arguments, the unit test for this function must call the function with different arguments and expect some output. So let's assume we have a function sum, which you can see in this screen. We have function sum with return value of a plus b. Then our unit test might look like this selected blow of code. As you can see, we have both the function sum and the unit test values. We should never be shy when we think about the possible inputs to functions that are being unit tested. Empty inputs, negative inputs, string inputs, everything counts. Have you seen this famous tweet? Go to this Twitter link to see the famous tweet by Bill Senf. Think about all the possible inputs and adequate outputs. Express this in expectations and assertions. Run the tests. See what is failing. Fix your code. In this video, we learnt about unit test 